हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू वेब कोडिंग टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन विच इज परमिटेशन वन दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन वट वी हैव टू डू इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज सपोज वी हैव गिवन फोर बॉक्सेज इन विच वी हैव टू फिल सम आइटम्स एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वॉट कैन आई से we have to find out the probabilities of how many items uh, in how many ways we can put the items in these boxes like we have to put 1 and 2 in these boxes we can add one here we can add one here here and here also if we are adding one here then we have to put two in uh, these boxes if we have put one here then we have to put two in these boxes if we have put one here then we have to put two in these boxes so if we are putting one here we can put one uh, two here so let's find out the total ways of putting one and two in these boxes the probabilities so for one we can put one here one then all the remaining three boxes will uh, remain empty if we put one in this box box that means again all three boxes will remain empty if we are putting one here that means these three boxes will remain empty if we are putting one here that means these boxes will remain empty now we have to check for two we can put two here here and here in this case we can put two here here sorry blank two one blank blank two one blank all right in this case two blank blank one and blank two blank one and also blank blank 2 1 here also we can put 2 here blank blank 1 2 this can also be the probability here all right uh, i think this is not clear it is not clearly visible to you let me make another tree i will try to make it uh, more visible so that you can understand we have four boxes and we ha uh, have to put one and two in these boxes and we have to find out the probability in how many ways we can put one and two is it not mm. all right so now uh, four boxes now one has one can come here all these boxes will remain empty one can come here all these boxes will remain empty one can come here and also one can come here now in this turn one has uh, make the choice now two has to make the choice one two blank blank One blank, two blank, one blank, blank, two, two, one blank, 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 one, two, blank, blank, one, blank, two. Here, two blank, one blank, not two, blank, two, one blank, and also blank, blank, one, two. Here we can say two blank, blank, one. blank 2 blank 1 and blank blank 2 1 so these are the probabilities for 1 and 2 when we have uh, in these orders we can put 1 and 2 if we have four boxes all right so we just need to find these uh, probabilities 
and uh, do you know a uh, formula uh, we can derive how many possibilities we can find out with the formula so have you ever heard of npr npr is equals to n factorial upon n minus r factorial or we can say n cross n minus 1 cross n minus 2 and so on till n minus r minus 1 and n minus r factorial just a second factorial upon n minus r factorial so uh, this can be cancelled what will be remaining uh, n into n minus 1 cross n minus 2 till n minus r minus 1 so you can watch you can see actually you can see we initially we have four boxes uh, for one and for two we have only three boxes in every case three 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 so uh, initially we have n boxes after first iteration we have three boxes then after uh, second iteration we have uh, two boxes left so uh, here we will use this formula now Let's try to code All right. First we need to check if we need to iterate in every box and then we will check if the box is empty or not if the box is empty then we will put the item in that box so first we will iterate in the boxes and we will check int i is equals to 0 i is less than boxes dot size and i plus plus we need to iterate and then we will check in every box if boxes i is equals to equals to zero that means the box is empty then we need to fill the box with current item and then we will call our function so that we can go to the next item current item plus one and in the end we will simply mark this box we will put zero in this box so that we can uh, go for another items the box can be uh, can become empty for uh, so that we can put another item in that box now in the base condition we will check if our current item is greater than total item for say we have to put uh, two items but we have reached to the condition because c1 uh, ci is increasing here if uh, ci uh, reached to the point where we have three items then we will simply just uh, return our answer we will print our answer so if ci is greater than uh, ti that means we have to print our answer that is c out uh, before that before that we need to run a loop because we have to print our answer i is equals to zero i is less than boxes dot size and i plus plus we need to extract our items from the boxes and then we will print those items here see out boxes i 
after printing a single item we will press and enter enter and then return now let's try to run the code accepted now let's try to submit if we have uh, submit and see is it running for all the test cases uh, all right it is running for all the test cases correct answer so you just need to uh, dry run for this code and if you have any doubt you can comment we will solve and uh, definitely solve your doubts there we'll meet in another question till then tata bye bye and thank you so much